Tom Schwartz's divorce. That was the part that felt the heaviest of this episode. It felt like it was still evolving. Um, and it was just hard to see how, in some ways, I feel like we as viewers get to just enjoy the fact that people are living this unusual lifestyle. And I'm not saying I don't, I have no idea about the inner workings of their divorce. I'm not saying it happened because they were on a reality show together, but it just was this dose of like real life and heaviness and sadness. And I hope everything is like going well for the two of them. But that was my avalanche for this episode. Yeah, I, you know, something just came to me when it comes to watching Vanderpump Rules. I've never really connected with Katie very much. You know, she's not like a person I've been able to side with. I haven't been able to side with Tom Schwartz either a lot of times, but like there is something to be said that Tom Schwartz was able to break the information on the shows and Katie is going to be secondary in this. Mm, Yes. That doesn't feel a hundred percent good considering Mm. she initiated the divorce. I'm sure everyone's fine with it. It's months in the past at this point, but like there's an interesting dynamic, I think going into it that way that Katie issues a divorce, but Tom gets to be the person who brings it up as a, I screwed up, look at me, you know, situation on a reality show. And I'm sure we'll get more on this in the new season of Vanderpump Rules, but just something I want us to like keep floating in the ether as we continue into Vanderpump Rules season 10. 